Hey guys, it's me just learning from you guys. I'm for this video dedicated to the Halloween season of 2023. I decided to change up my schedule for, for this one. This session happens to go on Friday the 13th of October. So, I, 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 I thought to myself, what would be the most appropriate um, big movie to watch for this day? It's very iconic and very uh, special day. I have to the uncut version. That's what I thought. And boy, is it special. It's got that big movie that, uh, simplicity to it that I just, I just like in the bottom of my black heart. Now, I, I, I mean, this movie is very interesting for the first, uh, for the first, uh, hour on this, on this type of genre. Because, well, it's very simple. The budget is simple. The uh, effects are pretty uh, low budget. The good, the good ones are they're, they're good though. So that's why I decided to pick up all my uh, decorations that went on. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm still going to do the other videos for this month. But, um, this one. Different priority being that it's a, a fire that and it took, and that's kind of rare for October to have a fire the 13th on in you know, this month. Anyway, um, it starts off with some crystal white with good tempers. That are in the middle of them, getting busy with the president Alex. And, um, he wasn't to any new TV or anything. So, Governor Bibi had a fun in this movie. But they are greeted by this POV shot of this woman, of this person that, um, everybody knows and everybody likes him. You know, very nice and calm and all of that. But then, she starts doing them. I started them with a knife. A big old knife. And, um, she, she ends up turning on and stuff like that. So then, the, I mean, the woman who did the crime series on, She's dead to death. Now, um, we, we start, we, we move the proper out of the credit in the title of the credits. And we, a new round of things, but I'll try to set up for the new, um, the new year for the, uh, for the fifth week that we And, um, yeah, the, the privilege that the Canadians had in the also war fight, you will start playing a strip monopoly. I wish I knew after that. But, um, they have strip monopoly, they have a war gun fight, they, they get that general fun for all the thing that we can really Meet Alice. I was having the day with uh, the head counselor, <clears throat> who I could swear is played by Paul Poland, but it reality is just uh, Peter Bauer, Brower, whatever you, whatever he is. So we we learned that about an accident happened years ago. I think it's like. Was it uh, I mean, the lights 
they do you off monitor. So then if you will you can capture some fun and stuff and then you can be collecting capital that for that. You check out I couldn't read to the party. Now I think that I believe that they supposed to start like two weeks before they actually but they can't touch kids or children. And um I think that's a little too too up to the wire to um to start opening up the opening up the camp for kids. If anything needs to be a year for you know to, that all the the stories of the camp camp of dying you know, calm down. So they um they have to get ready and stuff in the camp the you know, camp of the flick. They said check in with the person in a blue jeep. So then the the Mm, the familiar pop pop be shot of of the killer. Now um the the comfort is a nice girl. She actually has my mother's hair. She's funny. So um she knows that the driver does pass the um exit for a quick leg and she speeds up the the driver I think she speeds up a little bit <clears throat> and Tampa is worried about that. And then she gets that truck, you know, the moving jeep and the person driving ends up Talking her in the woods and killing her, you know, by his father's in the throat. And I expect that way, but yeah, it's Tom Dean. I was a notable killer involved. Kevin Bacon getting a, um, yeah, arrow through his throat. Of course, I was a big in love. Because that guy thought he threw his throat. And I said, he died. That's all they do. They yeah, have sex. You get killed. You, you get axed off. Quite literally, in the next girl who dies, Kevin Bacon loves it. Love her. Now, let me point out that he gets the first movie role that um, Kevin Bacon gets. He's killed by the arrow. Too big as ever as he will. So then, to go get that great empty, right over here, and uh, in over the top type street too. So, you find out that all the King Temples are dying one by one, like flies. And just lots of others, you need to submit. Some person is a mysterious blue jeep. Now, they also try to pin this on uh, Chris. Uh, I mean, it's even very played by uh, Peter Bauer. Because he drives a similar jeep. So they try to pin him until he found their due. I think you're right. So I done with what I made for an act to the chat. So, he finds out that this woman is really, uh, Miss, Miss, Mrs. Forty. The mother of the kid who died years ago when the two couples were busy making love. Now, I think that it's kind of weird that but adults would uh, continue to be distracted so much 
I haven't said that they would not care about liquid drying death. And it's kind of clear way that the mother would carry her rage to a new set of comfort. But where I guess she hasn't gotten any for years, but that's why she's so uh, soft. So, it shows um, this woman stalking Alice as the last witness to her crimes. And she finally put out the only one that I put together that this is where he is the killer or all the other friends in the group. So what you can notice that before he did that, whenever it comes to the, the, the other people, like the other men and the women, he goes a direct approach of us. And I throw a chop I look into their body. But with Alice, I know the picture of it or whatnot, but she ends up slapping her. You pick slapping her and uh, it's in general just uh, giving like two blinks and blows, you know, right now. Not very confident, couldn't blow in stuff. So, um, the, the girl gets into a deep at the spinner. The real funny stuff, the board of the deployed towards the cabin, and then she also uh, had to undo everything just to speak from camera for you. So, that was real funny. But to get them deep, she is dead by a bit of cancer that was late and was a child. Mm. Would you have like sleep to be moved anyway? And she said, Mrs. Rogers kept the dead body in there in the first place. So, um, then she escaped, goes to, uh, the, um, the lake for and, and, uh, you get into another fight where, where Pamela gets the top of Alice and, uh, pushes her head <laughs> into the sand with it's another kind of, uh, um, curly move she has to be starting to stab it out and stop. I blow off nose a little bit in the Tempest Washing movie. So, that was a pretty twist that Pamela took the guy and everybody over there. I love her creepy performance in this movie. It's more or less like, um, Friday the 13th, it's a camp movie. Obviously, because they didn't take her to like, but it didn't, it, the, the, Betty Palmer, who played Borgie, was even more of a, of a she, she was more of a cosplay camp person inside of a bigger camp movie. So, it was actually a little treat, especially because she did the sort of personality well. It was like the reverse of Norm Bates, where Norm Bates was telling his mother Spirit and voice. Pamela was also telling the the voice and the spirit of the, of the little boy Jason that, that would go on and become the main spirit they spent time. So they were like, Kill the mommy killer! Kill the mommy killer! To lose dead people. Also, what I'm bringing up point is I don't know whether it's the age or with the gender of the person that says, but I was always taught that it was having sex with somebody. Maybe it's because she's an older woman, but she's making love to the person. 
I don't, I don't, I do an idea with it. Something to do with the, um, genders in the age of drugs. So it, it, it's kind of weird. It also could have something to do with the fact that men used to have sex where women took more romantic stuff with it. It's also with the word. Also, I want to point out that there's always somebody who annoys you. And there's always that one person that does something so well that it just annoys the society. You're mourning the average thing of the person's face. So, if I can do the, the same sex and when boys is the best about very well. My, my friend from college, he did it. Here's my, um, my rendition of it. I used to put the trap out of that when we were in college. So it was a good twist that um, the body was to kill her. Also, out of the type enough is enough. When she comes up, there's a boy here with a machine. And she killed, she beheads the boy here. You see blood starting out from it in the stump. And you see the hands go, like, I really like look at chicken and go, no! And fall off the ground. And now, I got it. Somebody really does that. But it'd be funny if it did. I'm not gonna lie, it would be very hard if it did. Anyway, Mr. Foy died. And he was like the number of cops wanted to get, um, when I get out of the book, he was doing that. I guess it was so tempting, even though he hadn't seen put it for the tent against the big knife. Well, so he killed her. He killed her. Going onward, and we're watching. He seemed like he's all protected, along the water, and then all of a sudden, Twist number two comes out. A big old um, boy with a deformed face comes up and grabs her and goes under the water. Now, to me, that looks like that piece of meatloaf. A very bad thing of meatloaf when, when the kid Jason does that. And that, that's the that um, Pimlo's boy had in drowned in the in the lake water. You know, the girl always wakes up with this dream and this nightmare, and they find out that um, the word new boy found the moon. So it was a hidden thing that I'll cope under the water. So he's still out there. And then the next movie, he became a grown ass man about, about six or tall. There's a big picture of sight on his head. But we'll get to that when we get to that part next year. And we, um, I love this movie. It's a private B movie. A uh, good feel for, for those who haven't seen it. The double twist of seeing Jean Pinard with the killer a sweet lady and her son not at the, at the day in the movie. Probably his introduction to killing was a good touch. But, um, Betty Palmer with Supposedly, he didn't want to do that, so he could have done 
because he wanted to put a complete check and stuff. He did a good job with, with doing a complete job. He didn't have to do that that well, but he did do pretty well with it, I think. And, uh, yeah, he forever be known as Mrs. Vaughn. There's a panel of women. And, you know, I think he died recently, so. Great legacy. I think he might come back for this at the movie too. Just the voice. Because it's kind of like a big, uh, overly head. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. I got kind of thing when it was cheap. The Friday the 13th movie. And it's a good movie to have on Friday the 13th in October. So, I think you for watching this video on some quick looks first RDD for uh, for Halloween season of 2023. <coughs> if you have it, if you like what you see here and want to know what I mean, you can subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share the video with others. You know, it's something me at 631-707-3707. Call me or text me. You can also get me on Twitter or xdvapur at pmelcom12. And if you want to know what you need to really get, JJ's YouTube channel at gmail.com. So, this is very awesome. Don't accept it. Right from the checkers. I do you want to get your throat slashed. And, uh, <clears throat> I think a few in the net like this is, um, Great entry into the horror and torture genre of movies. And, um, a lot of boys and girls are into the land. Next time, I'll get more into, uh, um, another escape from home, the beat monsters. <laughs>